I'm Dr. David Reitzel from Griffith Observatory with a Cosmic News Update. Maybe some of you saw over the weekend Arnold Schwarzenegger with his message to NASA. Hello, my friends at NASA. Get to the chopper! That's right. NASA, it's time to get to the chopper. And indeed, today, Ingenuity took flight. Let's take a look at what that looked like from Mars. So here's the Ingenuity helicopter sitting on Mars before the flight. And NASA this morning after 3 a.m. Pacific time had a press conference where they showed this next image. This is a view from the Ingenuity helicopter looking down at the surface of Mars at its own shadow. Now that is insanely cool to think we got a photograph of a helicopter shadow from the helicopter as proof that it was flying. I love that you can see the rover tracks down on the surface where it drove, deployed the helicopter down below. It also meant this was incredibly stable if it could get this sort of clear photograph. And indeed, the flight was stable. This wasn't all they got. The Perseverance rover was nearby and caught video of the event. Take a look at this. Right here, you can see the helicopter getting ready to fly on the ground. The blades spin up. There they go. The blades are spinning. Those are about four foot diameter blades. And it's going to take flight here any second now into the Martian air. That's about 10 feet into the air. It hovers very stably up there. Look at that. Does a little pirouette, does a little spin, controlled. It stops again. Again, very stable over the air, a little bit of a drift, but hardly anything at all. And then they're going to get ready to land it back down to the Martian ground. Touchdown. And then they'll spin down the blades. Now, this fantastic result we're seeing here, what I thought was incredible is I'm not seeing a ton of dust. I thought I would see a lot more dust when that Martian helicopter took off. Um, so here it is again, the view of the helicopter from the rover right after it was dropped off. You can see there those four foot diameter blades. Everything had to go just right for this flight to work and it did. Now, the Van Zeel overlook is where uh, Perseverance was parked, about a football, football field distance away to look down at that helicopter deployment location. And that deployment location has been now renamed. It has been named Wright Brothers Field after, of course, the historic Wright Brothers flight that was the first powered aircraft flight on Earth that was back in 1903, December 17th. That original Wright Brothers plane was covered with an unbleached muslin fabric that was called the Pride of the West. Well, a piece of that actual fabric from the actual first flight, first flight aircraft was installed on Ingenuity. You can see here engineers installing that, and here's what that patch looked like. It was covered with uh, protective material. They taped it on to a wire underneath the, the solar panel. So today, when you saw that flight, a little bit of the Wright Brothers plane also took flight today on Mars. So ladies and gentlemen, we have more flights coming. The team, the engineering team, at JPL said this flight that you're just seeing me reshow for you here, they're going to do more. Maybe not today, but we have more flights to look forward to, like this one. They'll test out the technology more. Remember, this is a technology test. So hang in there. More exciting views coming from Perseverance and Ingenuity on Mars. So that's your cosmic news update for the Mars Ingenuity Helicopter. Now don't forget, you can tune in and check out All Space Considered with even more stories from all around the universe on the first Friday of every month. Our next show is May 7th at 7.30 from Griffith Observatory. Be sure to check that out. Thanks so much, everybody.